up you guys you're watching Sergio's secret before I get started with today's video if you can please give this video a thumbs up and the subscribe button I'm trying to reach 40,000 subscribers and everything that I'm talking about today including what I'm wearing will be linked down below and today's going to be such an anticipated review an anticipated video and it is on the Telfar Shabby bag. This is the bag that I'm currently using. I have everything that I could possibly ever want and need in this handbag. And talk about it. Talk about my first impressions. This is not a full full review, like months or years. So I probably will be doing a review probably at a six or maybe a one year mark to give you my honest thoughts and my opinions. But this is going to be kind of my first impression. So first impressions. What inspired me to purchase a Telfar bag? I've always seen Telfar bags um, in the beginning of this year so i've always kind of knew what it was people were commenting them on my youtube videos i got dms asking about my thoughts and my opinion i i didn't really know too much about so far clemens i didn't know too much about him i didn't even know if he was a designer and i'm just being honest i feel like this year i've learned a lot more than mainstream designers than of course your alexander mcqueen and your chanel's of the world like i've been really trying to find uh, brands and designers that aren't super super um, dream brands it was just one of those brands that I kind of did my research on during quarantine um, whenever we were in lockdown and I just did my kind of my research and I kind of saw my opinions and I just kind of kept it in the back of my mind I kept it in the back of my head and then I remember when I was in LA I saw this youtuber do like a till far wire till far bags popular I'll leave that video linked down below and so I remember I watched that video so you know I kind of knew what they were I was seeing I went to LA I did see a lot of till far bags and now here in Dallas they're starting to become a lot more popular and so I remember one of my friends did the kind of buy that buy guarantee where you can pick any color, any shade, any size. I believe you were guaranteed to get it by the end of January, I believe. And so my friend Hannah got the pink one. So I saw her have hers and I was just like, it made me like it so much. I saw somebody else with the bag and they let me kind of play with it too. So then after I saw both of their bags, I kind of made a, I made a conclusion that I do want to purchase this ham. And then so therefore a subscriber just hit me up out, out of one day said, hey, this bag's in stock. I don't know if you were looking for it. So I purchased it immediately and that's how I got the Telfar bag. It's a very popular bag. It has been super, super popular here in Dallas. I've been seeing a lot more people carrying it. And I think that's a really good thing because like I said, people usually carry the mainstream designers like uh, like a Dior, like a Chanel, like a Louis Vuitton, like a Michael Kors, so other brands like Telfar or like a Dagny Dover to kind of have a little bit more, you know, space and space in the kind of handbag world. Place to order. It was supposed to come like a week after Christmas, but I got it the day before Christmas, which I thought was such a really great surprise. I was not expecting it. Um, they did do a confirmed signature, which is um, different because out of all the places where I shop at, they never do confirmed signature, but so far it did. So I got it shipped to my parents' house. So, and so I ended up getting it. So um, the shipping was super fast. I was super impressed with checkout. I was super impressed with shipping. Go onto the website and see it. Now, dollars, shapes, and sizes. They sell out all the time, so if you do see one on the website, honestly, go for it. If you are looking for a Telfar bag in the market, so go for it, go for it, go for it. It came in a box, and it came with this right here that says the Telfar branding on it. And then you get this really nice, uh, kind of like a thicker cotton with the Telfar as well, and it has these little drawstrings. And so it came with those two items, and then obviously it came with the handbag. So the handbag that I have is the medium size. And so I'm going to give you a close-up of the handbag. And like I said, I've been wearing this bag the last couple of days. So I want you to make sure to see kind of like uh, what it looks like after a couple of days of wear. And I'm going to be honest, nothing has been happening on the handbag. The handbag literally looks brand new because I've had it for a few days. But I was so happy. My mom was like, oh my God, is that for me? She thought it was a Christmas gift I got her. But I was like, no, this one's for me. But she was just joking around. So... This is the bag here. Oh my God, a color, a color, a color. I wanted, you know, I wanted to have a handbag color that I don't have. I have like a lot of blacks and I've been starting to get kind of more brown, beigey colors. So I feel like this one would be the perfect addition. And so I'm gonna do a what's in my bag and then I, so you can see how much it fits here. And I'll give you what I think about the straps, what I think about the zipper, what do I think about the price point. Is it something that you should go for? Is it something that you should not go for? Like I said, I have a lot of handbags. I've had a lot of handbag brands in my lifetime. A lot, a lot of brands. So um, I know when something's worth the money or when something's not worth the money. So let's go ahead and show you what fits in this bag because you can actually fit a lot. So I have my 
MacBook Pro. I always carry this with me anywhere where I go. I always need to have it. I have a full-size wallet, and this is my Chanel wallet. I have a kind of like a little kind of like a charger when I have all the little cables that I need and this little pouch here. I have some sunglasses that are actually Tom Ford. They're just in this little Celine case, so I have that in there. I have my cell phone right here. This little Toy Birch little pouch that has like a bunch of face masks because sometimes I have this little pouch just in case if I want to take off my jewelry so it's not kind of screeching around my bag. I have a hand cream. I have a hand sanitizer. I have another wallet right here. I have AirPods and I have a lip balm. That was a really quick what's in my bag. Like a little bit of structure. This bag does have a little bit of structure to it. Like if I move it around, um, you know, it still kind of holds its shape a little bit, which is really good. I always tell people that I feel like in larger bags, I feel like structure is key to make your outfit look elevated. Sometimes when it's a really big floppy bag, it kind of um, takes away from the outfit. So I feel like something like this that's a little bit more structure has a little, it adds more to whatever outfit you're wearing. Inside right here, guys, you have un cierre, and it has the tofu right here. It has a zipper, and this is a YKK zipper. You open it up, and it's a pretty deep zipper. I've been putting, sometimes I forget my sunglass case, so I'll just put my sunglasses in here, and I'll just kind of zip it up, and it'll be there, so it'll be protected. And then it has a little snap closure, which I like, because, I mean, you know, for me, like, I live in, the, even though I do live in the city, you know, it's from the car to the place, to the place, to the car. Car. So for me, you know, having a zipper stuff on the back doesn't really matter. It could be literally quite open and it'd be fine. I appreciate that it has a little snap closure, but I overall like the aesthetic of the bag. I will say I don't really care for the straps on here. So I'm going to be honest. Like I said, I'm about 5'11", so keep that in mind. So when I put it right here, I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit awkward. Like I just feel like the straps... I wish they had some sort of kind of removable option to take it off. I mean, I think I guess it looks cute as a crossbody, but I feel like I wouldn't wear it as a crossbody. And as a shoulder bag, I feel like just the drop on it as a shoulder bag is a little bit too low. I would prefer it to be like at least like a little bit higher, maybe an inch or two removed, just so it, it fits a little bit more flattering because I feel like like a little bit on the shorter side, maybe 5'6", five, 5'7", five, five, um, This bag will literally go all the way down and for me that I'm like 5'11 I feel like this bag um, it still goes a little bit too low for my tasting the reason why I like my bags to be a little bit higher I kind of like to have control and I kind of like to see what's in here so I will say, I'll say that I don't really care for the straps on the bag I wish you could remove it I wish you could take it away I did use it as a shoulder bag and a crossbody to see how I feel I definitely feel more comfortable carrying this as a crossbody than as a shoulder bag because I just feel like the shoulder bag is just way too low. I don't really like the way it hits, but I could change my mind. The straps can grow on me a little bit more and I could, you know, want to carry it more as a shoulder bag. We shall see. Maybe because it's winter right now and I have like a lot of heavier materials, so maybe it slides off a little bit more. Maybe when it's summertime or spring, when I'm wearing more one pieces, I could carry this more as a shoulder bag. But right now, I, spew, I see myself carrying this handbag as a top handle. I think this looks so adorable. I think this looks super cute, super elevated. Like I said, it has no really hardware other than the zipper that's on the inside. And I just like that you can wear rose gold, silver, gold on any of the colors. Um, I went for this bag. I think that this is the perfect size. I feel like the other, the next size up is a little bit too, too big. And I feel like the small one is a really cute small size bag if you want one. I would personally, if someone's asking me, because I always get asked my opinions on the bags, um, should you go for the, what size should you go for, what size do you absolutely recommend, what size do you not recommend, I tell you to not go for the larger, larger one, I just feel like that's a really, really big bag, unless you're doing like a lot of traveling, you're spending the night, I think for an everyday size, I think this one is the perfect one, and if you want like a more kind of smaller bag, because you carry a little bit smaller things, or you just want a small bag, I think that the mini one is also a great one. I would kind of go between these two. I personally wouldn't go any more larger. I think that this one is, serves its purpose really, really well. Hey guys, so far so good. I am impressed with the bag. I really like it. It's that bonita. I will say that it is full leather, so... Um, even like, I'm gonna be honest, even like Stella McCartney bags aren't gonna feel like real leather no matter if it's a price point over a thousand dollars for like a Stella McCartney bag 
or this being you know under three hundred dollars not gonna feel like a leather bag don't expect it to feel like a coach leather or like a junior burke leather or like a poland handbag leather to feel like a vegan leather bag so um i know i got asked that how do i feel about the material you know it is vegan leather so you know don't expect it to be actual leather leather or to get close to leather because it's not even bags like from Stella McCartney that are over a thousand dollar price point isn't going to feel like real leather that fact out that you know you're not expecting a, like a leather feeling handbag I think that you're going to be really impressed with this I like this I think this is going to serve a lot of purpose like I said I've been using it the past couple of days um, I will be using it a lot more I just really like it like I said the only thing I don't really care about is the straps I feel like I prefer the look of it like this a lot more I would love to see how this one will wear over time guys um, if any of you owns this so far bag or owns any variation, I would love to hear your thoughts and your opinions Or if you owned it for a while, I want to know how is it holding up? Do you wear it a lot? Do you not wear it a lot? This is going to be a bag that I will keep in a rotation um, So there's you know, there's some bags that I have in my collection that you know I'll reach for every once in a while or like maybe once a week But then there's also those bags that I reach for on a super super daily basis And this is going to be one of those bags that I'll be reaching on a super daily basis so this one will get an amount of wear considering that I will be putting my laptop and I'll be putting a lot of heavy items. So I'm very excited to see what the wear and tear on this will look like. Um, so far, I'm looking at the camera, the lights and everything. First impressions, I really like the bag. I think it's a really nice looking bag. Going to make me purchase a small one. As far as my first impressions, I know this video is really short. You know, usually my videos are super long, but I kind of wanted to get to the point. This so far bag, if you're looking for a nice bag under $300, that's not super mainstream, that's not super out there. Um, this is going to be a good bag for you. If you want a first handbag, this is going to be a good bag for you. If you are, you are vegan and you don't like leather handbags, um, this is going to be for you. If you want a good work bag, this is going to be for you. If you want a good school bag, this is going to be for you. If you're a mommy on the go, I think this is a good bag for you. I honestly feel like there's nobody that could not wear this bag. I think that this bag is genuinely for everybody, especially a lot of guys, you know, I think in the handbag market, I've been seeing a lot more guys wear handbags, particularly I've been seeing like a lot of Gucci bags, obviously like a lot of Louis Vuitton bags, but I have been seeing a lot of people, even like Marc Jacobs bags, but I have been seeing a lot of people that are guys wear the Telfar bags, the Telfar belts, the Telfar just clothing, I've been seeing it a lot more, so it's really great how this bag is genuinely made for anybody, if you're a guy or a girl, or your bag. I like how this bag is really made for everybody, and this bag is super inclusive and i like the messaging and i also like how Telfar as a brand uh sticks to that messaging also another reason why i like the bag i also like the persons i like the people behind that make the bags who are the faces who who you know who's the face of Telfar so like i said i did my research in to be a really great designer and i like a lot of the messaging that he has within his brand so i mean purchasing more Telfar items in the future so far so good first impressions with this one like I said, I will keep you posted how I like this over time during handbag collection videos, during vlog, another review that I'll do this, or maybe when I purchase another one, I'll kind of put this inside the video. So, um, so far, I like it. If you are looking at the Tofar bag, I think it's a really great bag. Um, I like, like I said, I already mentioned all the reasons why I like this bag, and I really, really recommend it. So, this is going to be one of my favorite items in December and going to be one of my most used items in January come in the next kind of 48 hours and so i'm going to say thank you thank you thank you so much for everybody that was watching this video i really really appreciate it i'll put the link to telfar bags link down below including everything that was in my bag but i i like it i don't have anything negative to say first impressions i think it's really worth it and so it'll be you know when it's not being used i think i'm going to move these two bags here and i'm going to set it right here so it's kind of like all these kind of cream bags impressions on the telfar bag is a yes so far it's sergio secret approved i like it i think it's really worth it if you are looking for this handbag to add into your collection i think it's a really really great one and it's a lot more different than what we're used to in the market thank you thank you so much for watching this video i love each and every single one of you i'm posting a video monday through friday so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any one of my uploads on designer and contemporary items and i'll see you guys on the next video and look at this girl this outfit's super cute with this little jacket <laughs> thank you for watching guys bye